Hey guys, so this week we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit differently, but something I've been exploring a lot, which is travel wallets. And so what I mean by travel wallet is not so much just wallets specifically made for travel, but the type of wallet that I would typically want to use while I'm walking around, not just uh, in the airport or on an airplane, but actually during my trip. So what I've gone ahead is uh, done a deep dive into Amazon and just to see what sort of different options there are. And I have to say there are a ton. It was almost stressful to try to narrow down the amount of wallets um, that I wanted to consider. So what I've tried to do is go ahead and get a, a large range of styles and price points just to be able to show off a few different options that might meet the different needs of different types of travelers. And so after a lot of searching, I was able to narrow it down to about five or six um, from, a few, from a few different well-known brands and some brands that I hadn't really heard of before. So um, the wallets that we're gonna be going through today will include the uh, Herschel Passport Wallet, a uh, card holder from Herschel as well, a simple leather card holder from a, card from a company called Tonley Maunders that I hadn't heard of before, the uh, very popular Basics Wallet from Nomadic, a very versatile wallet which has a lot of cool tricks. I'm really excited about this one from a company called Hisimo. And one of the wallets that I've heard the most about, the Bellroy Note Sleeve. I've heard a ton about this one. I've been really excited to actually get my hands on it and try it out um, because I've been reading a lot of good reviews about it. So as I, as I mentioned, the search was long and hopefully um, I picked some wallets that you guys will enjoy checking out. Uh, just two quick things I want to mention before we dive into the reviews is um, all of these wallets except one are RFID blocking. Um, you know, there's a lot of differing opinions these days on how necessary it is to have an RFID blocking wallet. Some people think it's important. Some people think, you know, that, the, that it's just hype and that there's not that many, uh, there's not much use for it at the moment. Uh, so, but I, but I figured better safe than sorry. So I tried to pick wallets that had that feature. As I mentioned, all of them except one are actually RFID blocking. So I'll make sure to call that out during the video. The other thing I wanted to mention is I didn't include any wallets that have kind of a big clips or metal clips and then there's also some wallets that are made out of kind of metal materials these days wallets like the ridge um, is one of the popular ones um, which are made kind of out of titanium or steel or something like that i personally don't like to use those wallets i think they're very uncomfortable i i usually put my wallet in my back pocket so if i'm sitting or something like that it just doesn't feel nice um, plus uh, wallets with metal clips have torn up some of my pockets in the past before so overall it's just not something that I'm a big fan of so I didn't think I'd be a good person to review it um, but there are some other options that I didn't include in this video for people that do like to have uh, metal clips or who are looking for a wallet that's not necessarily made out of leather or a softer canvas material but with that being said I'm really excited about the options that I have here today so let's go ahead and take a closer look at some of the best options that I've found for travel wallets so first up, we have the Raynor Passport Wallets from Herschel. And this is probably the most different of the uh, wallets that we're going to be looking at today just because it is in fact a passport wallet. So by its very nature, it's a little bit bigger and uh, not really meant for daily use. This isn't something that would fit easily into a, a pants pocket or something like that. But I thought it'd be good to include this since our focus is on travel wallets, just because I think that it is nice to have something like this while you're in transit. If you're in an airport or a train station or something and you have to have your passport and then maybe your boarding pass and things like that, something like this is really nice to keep everything organized as you're moving around and to add a little bit of organization to the chaos that is uh, traveling on a regular basis. And so the, the Rainer wallet itself is very simple. It has a really nice, uh, simple design. It's made out of kind of this sturdy canvas material. It comes with uh, multiple slots for cards. Um, so each one of these slots can hold a few different um, credit cards or ID cards or things like that. I try to minimize the amount of cards I travel with um, on a regular basis. But if you do want to carry, you know, I guess four to five cards in here, you can fit multiple cards to each slot, and they're still pretty easy to reach, even if you have a few to each pocket. So really nice organization overall on the cards, and then it has kind of a slot here where you can put uh, maybe a boarding pass. I have some cash here. So I actually have the uh, dollars folded in half here, because if you have them open completely, they'll actually hang out over the top of the wallet. Um, so when you close it, you'll just have a piece of a dollar uh, floating around in the air, which is probably not something you want. Um, 
there may be currencies around the world that are a little bit shorter, which would fit completely into this slot. Um, and, you know, if you have a boarding pass, it might even be nice for it to be sticking out over the top, you know, when you're walking around. If you're walking around, you can pull it out really quickly um, if you have a paper boarding pass. So that may be nice to be able to have quick access to it. But as far as the cash, if you're using dollars, you will have to bend them to just kind of keep it all in the wallet at once. And then um, on the right side of the wallet, it has the passport sleeve. You know, this is what makes this uh, wallet a little bit unique in, in that you can have quick access to your passport and have somewhere kind of safe to store it. So I think there's two different ways that you can use this pocket in the wallet. You can either um, do what I have done here, which is I just kind of put the back piece of the passport in so that I have more easy access to it. It's very easy to pull out this way. Um, and if I just need to flip it open to show my picture, I can do that as well. You can actually also tuck the passport all the way in. It does actually hold the full thing. And, um, you know, one thing about this pocket is when you have the passport in, either way, it does kind of make the wallet stick up a little bit. It makes it a little bit bulkier. So if you just leave it um, to its own devices, it'll kind of pop open, as you can see here. So if you tuck this into a pocket somewhere in your bag and it compresses it down, it should be fine. But if you just, it, it is good to note that the passport does add a little bit of bulk that's going to kind of make it sit open, as you can see here in the footage. But uh, overall, you know, it's just a really good pocket. It's nice to have everything organized in one location. And as you can see, it's really easy to access. So um, overall, I really enjoy uh, testing this wallet out. I think it'd be really useful while you're actually in transit. Um, one additional thing to note about this is that it is RFID protected. So, um, you know, if that's something that's important to you or you just want to have a little bit more peace of mind, this, will, um, this wallet does provide that additional feature. Next up is the Charlie card holder from Herschel. I really like Herschel's products just for the quality um, that they offer. You know, they have a really strong build quality. Uh, so we just looked at the Raynor Passport Wallet a second ago, and so I figured I'd include another option from Herschel because of that quality. And also because of the price, um, this card holder is about $17 to $18. Uh, on Amazon, so it's pretty reasonable for the quality that you're getting and also the brand name. Um, but I really like this style of wallet, you know, kind of these slim card holders. I think they're really nice for um, using in your uh, back or front pocket. Uh, I really like to kind of keep the things that I carry in my wallet to a minimal. Um, so I've loaded this up with probably more cards than I use on a regular basis uh, just to kind of showcase the capacity. Uh, and so it has four different card slots. And each one can hold at least two cards. You may be able to fit even a little bit more. Um, if you fill them up too much, it may get a little bit tight to pull them out. But with two cards, um, it's pretty easy to still reach everything that you want to. And then in the middle, it has kind of this slot here for um, cash. So if you, do, if you fill up the wallet as much as I have here, as you can see, you kind of have to struggle a little bit to get to this middle slot. I just have a few bills here folded in half so that they actually fit. Um, but if you don't fill it up completely, this is a really easy pocket to access and a, and a really good place to keep your cash. And um, this is just a good minimal option if you just want something simple to be able to use on a day-to-day -day basis when you get uh, to your trip and just to be able to carry, carry the essentials. Um, and then just as with the Rainer wallet, this is also RFID protected. If this is a feature you're interested in, the Herschel Charlie card holder has you covered. So next up is the cheapest option on the list. This is just another card holder, kind of a slim style wallet from a company called Tonley Monders. And um, I hadn't actually heard of them before, um, but I was really impressed with the wallet when I actually got my hands on it. Uh, the wallet itself cost about seven or eight dollars on Amazon, so I was really um, not expecting something that would feel this solid. Uh, and I really love not just how solid the quality feels, um, and how slim it is, but also the way the pockets are laid out. So most card holders are very similar to the Herschel uh, Charlie card holder that we just saw, which kind of has just uh, rows stacked on top of each other to put your different cards. But I really like how this kind of has the card slots in different directions so that it's easier to access them. So, you know, you have uh, two card slots here in the back. You have a horizontal card slot. You have a middle section for cash. You have a clear ID window. And then you have a slot behind that one to add even more organization. So this card holder has a ton of slots. You can carry a ton of different cards with you. Uh, I really like that it has this ID case too. ID is one of the things that you're gonna show most often, so it's really easy to flash this if you're getting onto a bus or something. Or if you're going through TSA, it's really nice that it has kind of this thumb slot here to easily slide out your ID. You can pull it out, hand it to a security agent, um, and easily put it back in. Uh, and then behind that slot, there's then behind that ID window, there is actually an additional card slot um, to just add an extra card. And then, as I was saying, I really like how easy it is to see what 
cards are in each different slot and that's really helped by the way that you have a horizontal um, pocket here so you can see one card here you can see um, the, each of the individual cards that you have in the other slots and this makes it also easier to get to each one um, depending on which card you need and then in the middle this also has you know the slot for cash same as with the Charlie card holder um, and this is easy to access um, and just a good place to keep a couple of bills or extra papers or you can even put additional cards in there if you don't really want to carry any cash with you. Um, so overall, I just really love the style of this wallet. I really think this would be perfect for wearing in a back or front pocket and uh, it really um, holds everything quite nicely. So for the price point that it offers, uh, this is a great option to consider. So next up is the Basics Wallet from Nomadic. And so this wallet is the one I've probably been using the most over the past six or seven months. Um, as you can see, it looks a little bit more beat up. Um, but I've really come to love using this wallet. I love this um, kind of pull tab system that it has and how easy it makes it to access your favorite four cards. So you can, if you pull up on, on this tab right here, as you can see, it pops up and you can easily access one, two, three, four. And there's a lot of videos showcasing kind of how this wallet works and how many different cards it can hold. I think it can hold like eight to ten cards and it's really just very simple. Um, the design is is very minimal. It's made out of kind of this elastic kind of material so um, it's really thin. I really love how kind of the small footprint that it offers so it's really easy to wear in a front or back pocket um, and it's super minimal and, and as it says it's very easy to just access all the cards that you might use on a daily day basis. You can fan them out and uh, use whatever you need to. And uh, on top of that, it also has this pocket here where you can put some cash, um, just fold up a couple of bills. And, uh, you know, I don't use cash too often, so it's very easy for me to keep just a couple of small bills. However, th this pocket has kind of been the biggest drawback that I've seen as I've been traveling. And, and one of the reasons I've kind of switched more to um, some of the card holder style wallets like the past few that, that I showed in the video. You know, this this is not the most convenient way to store cash, especially if you're if you're traveling to somewhere where you want to carry a, a little bit of extra cash, just if you don't have access to ATM machines or anything like that. Um, you know, you really can't store more than, you know, three or four bills in here before it starts to get uncomfortable. And then just when you're trying to get cash quickly, it can sometimes get stuck. And then to put it back in, you have to refold it. So it's just, it's not the most efficient way to manage cash. So when I travel, that, that has kind of made it a little bit difficult with this wallet and just something I thought would be good to keep in mind. But overall, the wallet has held up really well during the time that I've used it. Um, and it's been really convenient to just have the system to easily get to everything that I need to. Um, as far as the price, um, I managed to snag this on, I think it was Black Friday or something like that for $10. It's currently $20. Um, on Amazon or you can get it from Nomadic site and it's a little bit pricey in my opinion for um, kind of what it what it offers you know the design is really cool but the materials themselves aren't quite that sturdy so when you compare it to something like the Tonley Maunders that we just looked at which is a leather wallet and something that looks like it's gonna last a long time I, and it only costs nine dollars I think twenty dollars for um, the Nomadic wallet is a little bit high um, but uh, as far as the design and the durability it's been great so far so I definitely recommend you check this one out so the card holders that um, we've been showcasing, uh, the first few options that we showcased, you know, they had the more of a card holder feel and minimalist style are great, but not everybody wants kind of a minimalist wallet. Every, some people will carry a lot more cash or they want different pockets or just to have a little bit more flexibility in how they can store everything in their wallet. If, if having a little bit more space and features is something that's interesting to you, this wallet from Hisimo, I believe it's pronounced, um, is a really great option. This is probably the one that surprised me the most of all the wallets that that I tested out. Um, I just love how many different features it options. It still manages to stay pretty slim as you can see here. I filled it up with quite a bit of stuff. And this is kind of a hybrid bifold type wallet. So it's not a bifold in the traditional sense. It doesn't have kind of a traditional slot for your cash, um, which helps it stay a little bit thinner. But it has tons of different pockets. It has a lot of unique features. And um, I was really impressed with kind of how well it worked for a lot of different um, situation. So just starting off with the front here, I really love when wallets have this kind of uh, thumb slot to help slide and access uh, frequently used cards. So I really like that if you, if you want to have your ID quickly accessible or maybe a bus card or something, uh, you can just slide it up and easily access it and then quickly put it back. So a really cool idea there. 
and then opening up the wallet as you can see here it just has a clear area for your ID so if you just want to flash that really quickly um, or if you're traveling through an airport or something and you need to actually hand it it has a slot here for your thumb to make it easy to actually slide it out and then as you can see, this is one of the options on our list that has RFID protection. So if it's something that's important to you, you can rest assured that this wallet has it. And then the way that this manages cash is really interesting as well. Um, this kind of tries to be, I guess, the middle ground between having just um, the card style wallet that I've shown in the past couple of sections where you just slide in a folded bill and then actually having a full-fledged cash area. So I, I really like this alternative to having like a money clip uh, I don't really like money clips as I mentioned in the intro to the video just because they add a lot of bulk and they're really uncomfortable if you're going to be wearing this in a back pocket and sitting on it. This is a nice kind of compromise because you still have a clip to keep your cash organized and you know you can flip it open like this and easily get to all the bills that you need to and then you can just kind of put it back whenever you're done. And so this is really um, a very convenient and easy option to use and I kind of like how how it makes it easy to see all your bills and grab them really quickly. And in addition to that, I like how you can also remove the clip. If you wanna just um, save a little bit of weight or thickness from the wallet, you can take it out and then it'll be even, um, it's still very usable. And then um, the wallet itself has a, a few more additional slots for frequently used cards. So it has two here and you can put multiple cards in each of these slots and they're easily accessible. And then another thing that this bag, so this really, this wallet really threw the kitchen sink at out. Um, it has this pull tab feature. So if you have a big group of cards and you just want to keep them together and you want to get to them quickly, you can actually pull on this tab and access any cards that you need to. Um, you can fan them out so that you can just see the different cards that you have in the wallet and then you can just quickly grab the one that you want to. So the, the wallet really offers tons of different ways to organize um, your cards and everything you want to carry with you on a daily basis and it really goes to great lengths to make it easy to actually grab everything. So um, you know offering the clip for the money, this pull tab feature really help it stand out from the rest of the wallets that um, I tested out. And on top of that the wallet itself costs about $15 on Amazon, $15 to $16. So it's a really affordable wallet considering everything that you're getting. It's got a really nice kind of leather material. It feels like good quality and it has tons of features. So at $15, this is kind of a great option if you want a wallet that, ha that does it all, but you don't want to spend an arm and a leg. So the final wallet we're going to be taking a look at is the Bellroy Note Sleeve. And so this is a company that's gotten a lot of really positive reviews for most of their products recently. And um, this is definitely the most premium wallet on the list. It costs about $95. So it is definitely on the higher end of the price scale. Um, but overall, I was really impressed with you know the quality of the wallet as you would expect from a $95 wallet. Um, it had a lot of features. This is definitely the most traditional type of wallet as well. Um, it's definitely, it, it's kind of a buy full uh, type wallet, so you know it has the traditional slot for cash. And uh, it has some really unique features though, and uh, a lot of really good pockets to keep everything organized. Um, so as you can see, I filled the bag out with quite a few cards and, uh, and a few dollar bills. And so this kind of just showcases some of the issues that I have with bifold wallets because even though this is a very slim wallet, um, once it's filled up, as you can see, it starts to kind of pop open. Um, I don't have that many cards in here. I have the same exact number of cards that I've had in the other um, wallets that I've shown here in this video. Um, and as you, can, as you can see, it definitely looks a lot thicker than those wallets used to, um, than kind of the more card style wallets. And it also kind of just has a tendency to lay open when it's full, which kind of bugs me a little bit. It's not a big deal when it's in a pocket, but it is something to just keep in mind. So, you know, the size of the wallet itself is, 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 is not too bad. Um, I think this is something that will still fit in, um, in a front or back pocket. It might look a little bit funky in a front pocket. I think it starts to get more on the bulkier side, so you might have a little bit of a bulge in your pocket. So this is something I would probably use in my back pocket. Um, the only thing with that is that at $90 and this being in my back pocket, um, after sitting on it for a long period of time for many months, I imagine this would probably get pretty beat up, which is a little bit hard to imagine uh, for a $95 wallet. So the price point really um, sticking out to me here is one of the main negatives. Um, but so on the inside of the bag, it has some quick access pockets for cards that you use commonly. So it has one here for probably your most access card and then two additional slots here. These slots are pretty tight, so I wouldn't try to fit too many cards in them. Um, even when I was first putting the cards in, I had to kind of squeeze a little bit to have it give. 
Um, and then for any additional cards that you want to use, this also has a pull tab system like the Hisima wallet that we looked in the previous video. Um, and here it kind of just, you can fit a bunch of different cards here. I only have three. Um, but I feel like there's some space for a few more at least so it's really nice that you can just keep everything kind of hidden And it's still very easy to access and you can just grab anything you'll need by using the tab so a really nice feature and then you know no matter no matter how much I like slim wallets Bifolds are still the best wallet um, if you're carrying a lot of cash with you the most easy to use here you can just reach in uh, grab a bill and uh, keep everything else in there very, very easily. So as you saw with the previous wallet with the money clip, you still have to open the clip, take the bills out, and things can fall out. It's really nice to just have kind of the bifold style where if you have a lot of dollar bills um, or you know currency with you, it's very easy to reach in, see, grab what you need, and then put the wallet away very quickly. So um, still really nice to kind of have that, that um, traditional organization if you have a lot of cash. And then one of the additional features that you don't see on too many wallets these days, but this wallet has, is kind of has this like hidden pocket here where you can keep coins. This is a coin pocket, so, and so I just have a few coins in there. Um, I don't know how practical this is. I mean, it's, it's nice, I guess, if you want to keep your coins separate from, from everything else, you can kind of reach in there. Uh, it's a little bit of a small pocket, so if you have something near the bottom, it could be a little bit annoying to reach. Um, but I guess you never really want to be carrying too many coins with you to just add that much weight. But it is nice to have that option to keep them kind of stored in one location instead of having them float all over your wallet or having to keep them in your pocket or something like that. And then this, the coin pocket itself is a part of the bill area here. And then it has this like leather flap that you can tuck in to close if you want to close the pocket and help keep the coins in their place. Uh, one thing I did notice is that um, this doesn't always actually keep the coins in their place because this this kind of leather flap keep lays flat against the wall of the wallet so you know if, if a coin gets on top of it it'll easily fall out um, so I think it's almost more just kind of for show um, but I guess if you don't have too many coins and you just want to have uh, an area for it this this is nice to have and then this wallet, along with many of the other wallets that we've reviewed throughout the video, ha offers RFID protection. So if that's something that's important to you, it is included with this wallet. And so, you know, back to the original point that I made when, when I started reviewing this, uh, the price really sticks out. So this particular version was $95. Uh, I think that, you know, they range from 90 to 100, depending on which, which style you get and which color and things like that. They do also sell this without RFID protection if you want to save a few dollars, but it's still going to be a pretty pricey wallet. And uh, you are getting a really good quality. The brand name is very well known. Um, they've gotten really positive reviews and it seems like it's a wallet that's gonna last a long time. However, um, if you are like me and you beat up your wallets quite a bit, uh, it, it, it can hurt a little bit to uh, end up spending $95 on a wallet when you'll likely have to replace it at some point. If you, really, if you want the best of the best and really high quality, this may be the option for you, but if you're looking to save a little bit of money, I don't think that this wallet was that much better than the other wallets we reviewed in the video um, for the high, to justify the higher price point that it comes with. But overall, I really enjoyed using all these wallets. I, didn't really, I can't really think of too many negative things to say about any of them. Uh, I hope I was able to cover a good range of wallets and that some of these will be useful. If you're looking for a great wallet for daily use or for use while you're traveling, I definitely recommend checking one of these out. Um, and then as you're checking these out, chances are on Amazon, there'll be about 50 options that pop up that you can explore um, as well. Just as I mentioned, it was really stressful to look through how many wallets there were. There's so many good options for so many different price points. So there's definitely a lot there to help meet the needs of every sort of traveler. Um, if you guys found this review useful, please go ahead and give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming reviews. And thank you guys so much.